Hello everyone. Today, welcome to my webinar. And today I'm doing the anti-aging webinar. So if you want any advice with regards to skincare in the coming week, I'm going to be here every evening going through different concerns that you may have. And today we're talking about anti-aging. Now, I'm Chantal Coombs. I'm the nurse. I'm the owner here at the Sugarbox Clinic. And I'm going to go through a couple of things with you. And I'd love to have your feedback at the end. If you've got any questions, please post them in the comments. And what I'll do is I'll answer those uh, questions that you've got in tomorrow's video. And um, basically, I'm going to go through all of this. I'll go at a reasonable speed. But if you think it's a little bit too fast or too slow, I'd love to know at the end. And if you think I could go a little bit more advanced and a little bit more in depth, then let me know too, because um, it'll be really good to get your feedback as to how we can go forward and how I can help you and improve your skin during lockdown. So here we go. So what is aging? Well, aging is where the skin basically starts to break down. So instead of having its usual collagen and elastin, and you've got, if you imagine that as the building blocks and the structure and the support to help keep the skin nice and plump. So a bit like the skin on the left-hand side of the screen or, or on the gentleman's right side of his face. And this guy's a trucker. It's an example of how aging happens on the one side of the face, okay? And if you imagine two pieces of paper next to one another, and they've got a nice bit of structure in between, what happens is as the collagen and elastin start to break down and we get oxidative stress, we get internal stresses and external um, environmental stresses, then this support starts to break down and we get something called glycation. And so the skin starts to change, okay? Now, this becomes irreversible and it's very difficult to treat. But what we can do with that is as you get volume loss, we can return volume, but the skin structure may need severe treatments like laser resurfacing and a very deep chemical peel that needs, you know, four weeks off work. But at the moment, of course, you can't get treated. So the, the key thing is here is for me to help you to prevent you getting this glycation or give you advice on how you can treat it in the future. Um, but really, it's all about how you can protect your skin. And the thing is, it's like anything, isn't it? It's, um, you don't realize what you've got um, or what you had until it's gone. So I want to help you um, keep your lovely plump skin and for you to not um, let this gorgeous weather that's been happening during lockdown is to kind of forget about looking after your skin. So looking after your skin is going to be really important, okay? Now, here's another example of glycation. We see this quite often when people come in saying, you know, can you, can you get rid of it? And the thing is, is all we can do is soften it. We can't get rid of this unless, like I said, you have those severe treatments. So even if I put filler in and it pulled the skin tight, if you have a look at those lines, those lines look dark because the skin is folded together and you can't actually see the bottom of those lines. So as you pull the skin tight, the lines will actually look wider, believe it or not. So although they'll look more plump, they'll start to look wider because it, the skin is stretched, okay? Um, but what you can do is you can have um, products to help exfoliate and resurface the skin and help to soften it, but it will not go. So what we want to do is we want to prevent this from happening, okay? Um, other things that can make our skin look like it's aging is pigmentation, but I'll be going through that on another presentation later on in the week. But you can see the difference here and how before she looks much older, and that's just due to the pigmentation. Now, I'm very guilty of going out in the sun. I do wear sunblock every day, and so um, wearing sunblock isn't going to stop you from getting darker. Believe it or not, you still get a tan, which is amazing, uh, if that's what you want. But what... Um, what you want to be doing is if you want to prevent this from happening is wearing sunblock you need a really good spf um, but i'll go into that shortly um, and if possible you need to be wearing a hat as well so here again you can see how pigmentation again ages the skin and how she looks so much younger just um a little bit later now, this is not my work but just to give you an idea of um some images and um this lady, you can see she's been in a woods lamp. Now, we've got a woods lamp in clinic, so you, you're very welcome to come in when you have your skin consultation. You can come in and we can have a little look at your skin. 
And the amazing thing about this is all that happens in the woods lamp is just the UV light, but you can see different colours. Now it looks slightly different to this, as in the skin looks um, purple. And where it's dehydrated, so if you look under the eyes and it looks darker, that would be a sign of where dehydration has actually occurred and it looks much worse and it look like a deeper purple. Um, where the areas are whiter, so you can see on the brows, the tip of the nose and around the lips, they're areas where there's a buildup of dead skin cells. So where we tend to not exfoliate, so if you imagine when you wash your face and you've got palms of your hands on the cheeks, we tend to not rub the eyebrows or rub in between the brows or the tip of the nose. So those are areas where um, dead skin cells tend to build up. But also what's really amazing, and I'll go into acne and oily skin on another presentation, is you'll actually see purple and orange dots, which is absolutely amazing because then you can see, when you think, oh, I'm not sure if my skin looks better, if you see, say, 100 orange dots and then you come back, four weeks later and you only see one or two you know then that the your skin has improved and that's what this woods lamp is all about is just seeing those changes um, and the orange dots would be um, oils and the yellow dots represent blackheads and you can actually see that under the skin so that's really good so we'd encourage you to come in um, but that would need to be after this um, pandemic because of course the risk of infection and things from going inside the woods lamp so this will be at a later stage, okay? Now, I want to show you how you can improve your skin. Don't make mistakes like lovely Macaulay Culkin here. So in order to improve the skin for aging skin, we want to increase the cell turnover. We want to um, exfoliate the skin, hydrate the skin and protect it. Now, with regards to increasing the cell turnover, you might think, well, how can that happen? Well, what happens is between, when you're younger, your skin, um, to get from a new an, um, a new skin cell to a dead skin cell that's ready to exfoliate away from the skin is 0 to 28 days. And then your dead skin cell sloughs away. Now, as time goes on and you get older and older, that 28 day period actually lasts longer. And so you could even find that it's 40 days and even up to 52 days where your dead skin cells stay on the surface of the skin and if you imagine there's a buildup then of dead skin cells on the surface and the skin starts to look duller, drier, kind of a little bit, sometimes it can look a little bit waxy. So if you're thinking, oh, I don't have that radiance in my skin, then increasing the cell turnover might be something that you want to do. OK, um, and we could do that. So there's two ways we could do that. We can do um, chemical exfoliation or mechanical exfoliation. So by mechanical, I mean, you use something like a physical scrub that you're going to use on the surface of the skin, um, or you can use a flannel. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that you're gentle with the skin. You don't want to be overly um, rubbing the surface and causing trauma to the skin, okay? Because if you've got thread veins or if you've just got delicate skin, you don't want to overdo it. So there is an element of balance when you're having um, a physical exfoliation and also with a chemical exfoliation. So it really depends on how your skin responds as to which type of chemical exfoliation you want to use, okay? Um, and then we want to hydrate the skin. So we want something that's gonna penetrate into the skin cells. So if you've got something that has large uh, molecules, it will just sit on the surface of the skin. So a bit like sticking cling film on the surface. Now we don't want that because that can cause more issues like more outbreaks and things. And the same thing goes for protecting your skin. So when you're using an SPF, you need to make sure you've got one that is designed for the face. So you don't want a nice holiday one that's kind of greasy and then causes an outbreak because it's fine on the body, but it's not ideal on the face, okay? So that I want to go into, um, I forget who this is, but it's one of my daughters, you can see. <laughs> what happened on the first day is they were so eager to go into the swimming pool and didn't put sunblock on before they left the room. When I got to the pool, I said, did you put sunblock on? They'd been in the pool for an hour. And they'd burnt on the first day. So this was the result for the rest of the holiday. <laughs> and that genuinely, they were like this for the whole holiday. So they had their hat on, they had their umbrella, and they had a T-shirt. And I don't want you to be in this situation. If you can, make sure you wear a good SPF, or even when you're out in the garden, wear it on your chest. Make sure you get right up to your... Um, sleeves if you've got you know um, narrow sleeves because 
that's what tends to be where people burn. Make sure your hands are covered. Anywhere that shows age, your age, and can give away your age on your chest. That's really important on your neck. And then, of course, on your face. Now, make sure it's an SPF 30 or above. And um, you don't have to worry about it being a 50 in um, America, for example. They don't um, tend to say um, SPF 50. They tend to cap it at 30. And they put 30 plus. So you need to make sure you check the ingredients. And the great ones are the physical blocks. So an actual particle that kind of acts like a mirror to bounce away the UV rays, okay? Um, and they would be a titanium dioxide or a zinc oxide. Um, and they are the best sunblocks that you can get, okay? Now, they're absolutely brilliant. Now, there, there may be a little bit of testing where um, you need to find a sunblock that's right for you and um, one that people tend to use. I'm not sure if I put a picture, actually, later on, did I? Or oh, I forgot. Back. Um, one that people tend to use is in clinic, for example, is the Heo Care Light, and lots of people tend to use it instead of foundation because it gives such a nice coverage, but you also get that sun protection, and it's got titanium dioxide in there. So really important, check the ingredients, okay, on the back. Um, another lifestyle tip, of course, is water. Now, if um, you're drinking two litres of water, it really should be a minimum of two litres. Don't just aim for two. It's really hot at the moment, so if you're sweating, you really need to go aim for three litres. Um, if you're exercising, you may even need to reach four litres a day, okay? It's really, really important to hydrate because that helps to remove all the toxins. If your body is dehydrated, your bowel's going to squeeze the lovely food that's in your intestine and you're going to be, one, you're going to be more constipated, but two, those toxins are not going to be removed and so they're continuing to go around the body. So it's really important that you drink lots of water. So you can see I've got here reduce alcohol intake and reduce caffeine intake. Of course, they can make you dehydrated as well. So it's really important. Um, a good tip actually is just to get your bottles of water ready, pop them in the fridge. I don't like them that cold, so you could just pop them on the side or take them out early. Maybe put some slices of lemon in, so that helps to reduce the alkal alkalinity of the um, in your body, which is also a very good health benefit. So lots of water, that's another tip. Um, for your face, of course, is stop smoking. So if you imagine, you know what um, had the smoke effects on the on the walls and how you see the tar. Imagine how that's affecting the smoke coming up in front of your face and how that affects your skin. So you'd really get massive improvement. And, and our customers really see a dramatic difference with um, when they stop smoking. Um, I know at the, at the moment things are um, difficult with regards to pharmacies because of the pandemic. However, pharmacies do offer um, a free smoking cessation support where you can get free nicotine patches and um, or what do they call them maybe the the nicorette gum and things and what they do is you have to go in and you you go through an assessment with them and they would give that free now which is one is just absolutely brilliant because it's free but two if you know you're furloughed maybe you've got reduced income then even better okay now if you exercise you can see me here Bit on my bike, you can see my mask. Now, of course, exercise is brilliant because it improves the circulation, gets the um, gets the blood flowing, so really good for skin health, but just general health. And then, of course, a healthy, balanced diet. Now, these I know are things that you probably already know, but if you want some extra help and extra tips, or um, you want to kick up the bum, you want to join my fitness group, you're very welcome to do that. Uh, but these are just general tips that are going to help with your skin health. Okay. Um, and I know that, you know, you tend to know these, but just thought I would recap on them, okay, just to remind you. Um, and like I said about skincare tips, is using a flannel. So you just want to help exfoliate gently on the surface of the skin. You don't want to scrub the skin too firmly. And then once you've finished washing your face, which is great, something like um, Elemis do a sensitive cleansing wash. And it's so sensitive, you can... Um, so great you can use that to remove eye makeup um, when you use the flannel put it under nice hot water and you can rub all the excessive um, makeup away even if you're not wearing makeup one of the mistakes that people are making at the moment now during lockdown is because you're not wearing makeup is maybe you're not in a good routine and you're not washing your face as regularly because you think oh I haven't got any makeup on but still do that you'll find such a big difference 
once you've washed your face with a flannel make sure you rinse it give it a little wash with some soap and water and then just hang it on the radiator or you know if you've got lots of flannels um then just chuck one in the wash basket and get your next one out okay um, if anybody needs a flannel i'm happy to give one free of charge with your skincare if, um, if anybody needs any because i've got plenty in the clinic so i'm happy to send those out to you um, and then just get back into a good morning and evening routine. So if you're not in one already, I want to help you get back into one. So just get into regular, wash your face, if you can, tone, which is brilliant, and then moisturize, and either moisturize with a sunblock or apply a sunblock. So that's your morning routine. And then in the evening, you can use a night cream that's going to help heal the skin and just oxygenate the skin, maybe something that's... Um, a little bit heavier just to really hydrate the skin especially because this is an anti-aging webinar um, and you want something that's going to um, like I said earlier it's something that's going to penetrate into the skin but you just need to get into that routine I would say when you're getting your toothbrush out get your couple of items out ready so your cleanser your moisturizer and your flannel just get them all up in line and if you haven't got a hairband get an old sock or pair of tights and just tie it around um, the top of your head and if you need a hairband I'll happily give you one of those as well free of charge um, with the products that you're purchasing okay um, and sometimes because just having if you've got long hair you kind of only want to wash the front of your face and maybe not wash all along the hairline and that's where um, people tend to get um, spots and things or just maybe a buildup of excess dry skin as you may have seen on um, on that UV light image I showed you earlier okay so other things, cleanse, moisturize, SPF, and products that penetrate the skin. So cleansers, I think I've, ah, um, oh, products. So the products I'm gonna go through actually are the, only very briefly, I, I'd love to have some feedback about what you think about the depth of the um, presentation. And if you think I, I need to go into a little bit more depth, um, but it's not really about me selling products, but if you want to know more about products, I'm happy happy to share that with you so I'm going to go briefly into the Elemis and the Neostrata um, and one good one for aging is the Elemis dynamic resurfacing set or what they call the smoother looking you um, and we're given 20% off these sets at the moment um, and the great thing is is you've got the resurfacing wash in here you've got the resurfacing pads and you've also got a gel mask so all the brilliant things that help to exfoliate the skin and then to help the skin hydrate then they've got a small little tub of um, recovery bliss capsules so I just turn that phone off um, and then um, so that set basically in those products are enzymes so they have three different types of enzymes in there and what they do is they help to break up those peptide bonds and they help to um, slough away those dead skin cells that I was telling you about so that we can help increase the cell turnover. They're a much gentler form of exfoliation, so nothing that's too irritating. What you will find with the Neostrata products is they've got alpha hydroxy acids, so they may be more irritating to some people. So it's always a case of just trying one product versus the other. Some people just completely love the Elemis product, so you've got an, ele an element of um, aromatherapy oils, and they've got the purest part of the aromatherapy oil from the plant extract in the Elemis products, which are wonderful. Um, and so it really, it's just a personal preference. And I do highly recommend the resurfacing range. And I've used the cleansing wash and the pads. And I absolutely love the Bliss capsules. Um, I may even do a TikTok. You can find me, um, Chantal.coombs, if you want to see me doing a little TikTok on the uh, lavender bliss capsules which are really nice for just soothing the skin so maybe in the evening when you really want to um, just soothe the skin if you've been out in the sun and you have been a little bit naughty um, but what's really important though is because these resurface the skin is that you actually um, wear a sunblock with this okay so like I said sunblock with um, titanium dioxide or a zinc oxide or both and ones that are non-comedogenic, so basically don't block the pores and are just designed for the face. And then we've got the Neostrata, and I've only included two on this um, image, but you can see um, they are part of, if you see that little blue stripe, so they have some with a green stripe and an orange stripe, and these blue stripe 
products really to resurface the skin. So we talk going back to that exfoliating the dead skin cells and sloughing away um, the skin cells that are there for longer so that we can reveal the newer, fresher skin. These are perfect for that. Now you can see we've got, we've got the ultra smoothing lotion, but it also comes in a cream. So again, it depends what consistency you like with your product. Um, and on there you can see there is a 10 AHA, so the alpha hydroxy acid. So these are the acids that I, that I mentioned that help resurface the skin. Um, the great thing about the Neostrata products is as you get used to exfoliating the skin, so if you've got that glycation image um, that I showed at the beginning, we've got quite a few wrinkles, is this is this would be the ideal product for you. As you use that product though, over a period of time, you may want to increase the strength of it. And so there is another step up level and another step up level again. So um, you won't get products of this strength over the counter, okay? And the reason for that is you need to see a practitioner. Um, so somebody like myself, so that I can write your prescription and I would send it to the pharmacy. They're doing direct delivery now, so um, it can be delivered straight to your door. Um, and you know, the beauty of these products is somebody will look after you if somebody is giving them to you. So if you do purchase them from me, I'm here to look after you and I'll, I'll help guide you how to use them. And if you get a little bit stuck, you know, I'm here. You can call me on the clinic number. So I, um, I did mention earlier that if you if you want to book anything in, you can call me on the clinic number. So it's 01633462083. Um, or you can book online if you want. You can book on through our app and um, you can book on through our website so you can just book in for a consultation or you can book in for a telephone call and we can do a video call if you like um, and so I can have a little look at your skin as of next week actually I'm getting a much better quality um, webcam however it will depend on your webcam as to how good a quality I can how good the image is for me to see your skin but I can definitely give you some advice and we can have a little chat over the phone um, but it doesn't have to be over video if you're not comfortable with doing that so we can do it over the phone okay um, and that's it really it's very short uh, webinar today but just thank you everybody for listening feel free to invite friends into the group if somebody wants some advice about skincare but I'd love to hear how it was for you would you say that um, these are helpful I'd say they are helpful to people would you say right um, so let me know if it was too basic, if it was too advanced, if it was too fast, too slow, um, leave me any questions now in the comments or drop me a private uh, message if you like into to our Facebook group um, and I'll happily answer the questions tomorrow evening and I'll do that at the end of tomorrow evening's webinar and, um, and that's it from me this evening. Thank you ever so much for listening and I shall speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye.